second, sir, just a diplomatic question. Ever since uh, Vice President Kamala Harris was uh, uh, supported and endorsed by President Biden, and there have been name callings uh, against her for her her ethnicity, color, and where she come from, and all those things. Is Secretary hearing anything diplomatically from around the globe, those secretaries or foreign ministers about, uh, because being a first woman now maybe, and also because of her look and among others? So um, I, for a variety of reasons, many of which you've heard us talk about before, I'm, I'm certainly not going to get into electioneering or uh, campaigns from up here, but I, I will point you back to what uh, Secretary Blinken said about the vice president last week when he was asked a, a question about one of your colleagues. Um, she is somebody who, uh, on the foreign policy stage, um, has uh, spoken forcefully on behalf of the United States. Uh, when uh, she meets with world leaders, when she engages with them, the secretary has been able to be part of some of those engagements. Uh, world leaders and counterparts know that she not only speaks for the president, but she speaks for uh, the United States. Why I said it quickly, I'm sorry to uh -huh. interrupt you. Because my community is very much disturbed because my community, uh, she comes from background from India. Mm -hmm. And my community is also worried about because there are some attacks against my community here in the region well, or look, around the U.S. L let's just be, let's certainly be unequivocal. Any kind of derogatory remarks that are rooted in someone's uh, appearance or ethnicity or background, uh, not only are they uncalled for, they have really have uh, no place uh, in our uh, American democracy uh, discourse. But again, I I, I'm not going to get into politics or campaigning from here and would just echo what uh, the secretary has said uh, just last week about being able to work with the vice president for the past three and a half years on the world stage, engaging foreign leaders with her uh, and what she's been able to bring to the table when it comes to uh, the foreign policy accomplishments of this administration. Thank you very much. Nick, you